Before you buy any physical gold, you need to think about how you will store it. This is very important. You may be tempted to keep it at home. In fact, there's a large range of web pages that come up with ideas on how to hide gold. I understand the desire to keep your precious metals close, but storing it at home is highly risky. For starters, you can't insure gold kept at home. Basically, if your bullion is lost or stolen, you'll never be able to recoup it. Remember, gold is money. You need to treat your gold exactly as you would cash. Once it's gone, it's gone for good. If you do decide to keep your bullion at home, install a top quality safe. I'm not talking about the sort of safe you can find at Bunnings. There are countless YouTube videos that show you how to crack open one of these with only a little bit of force. If you do choose to keep your bullion at home, never, under any circumstances, tell anyone where you keep it. Another popular option, which is probably more secure, is to organise secure storage for your gold. Banks do offer safety deposit boxes for hire, but then your gold would be stored with a bank and you may decide that you don't want to have it anywhere near the financial system. After all, the point of converting paper money into gold is to get a portion of your wealth out of the financial system. Many Australians are often surprised to find out that the contents of their seemingly private safety deposit boxes at the bank aren't that safe at all. Aussie banks can exercise their right to access the contents of your safety deposit box at any time. For this reason, you should consider private storage companies. Firms like Guardian Vaults, Kennard Self Storage, Custodian Vaults and Fortis Vaults all offer personal safety deposit boxes for a small fee. Even better, they are privately owned, so you won't be storing your gold with a bank or government authority. The other, and often cheaper option, is to have your bullion dealer store your gold for you. Many bullion dealers offer to store gold on your behalf. This means that when you buy your gold, you don't take physical delivery of it. The bullion dealer holds it for you. If you plan on buying large quantities of gold, this may be the best option for you. Now, when you ask a dealer to store it for you, there are two types of storage available, allocated and unallocated. Allocated storage is simple. Each gold bar, no matter what the size, is given a unique serial number for bullion dealers to track. If you choose allocated storage, the bars you buy go into a pooled storage unit. In allocated storage, the serial number of each bar will be noted down on a ledger and they will be taken off the market and allocated to you on the dealer's ledger. In other words, while all your bullion bars will be stored in one collective vault, no one will be able to buy the bars you have because they have been allocated to you and only you. The alternative is unallocated storage. Unallocated storage is also pooled, however you don't have serial numbers of bullion bars written down next to your name. Instead, you have a set number of bars or ounces allocated to you on the ledger with no claim on any particular bar in the vault. Let's say you buy five one ounce gold bars, giving you a total of five ounces of gold. If you select unallocated storage, you will have a claim to five ounces of bullion in storage, but you don't own any particular bars in storage. Unallocated storage costs are often slightly cheaper on a yearly basis. However, whichever method you choose, make sure you've researched your options thoroughly first.